Hi folks, welcome back to Metabox Tutorials. In this practice, I will show you how to create a simple listing page combining Metabox and Cadence. Here is an archive page that shows a list of products like this. As you can see this page is divided into two sections. One is the content about restaurants information, and one is the filters. Each restaurant is a product, also saved in a post of a custom post type. The restaurant's name and image are the title and feature images of the post. Other information such as status, address, and logo will be saved in different custom fields. For the voucher, I'll create it separately by using taxonomy. I'm using this taxonomy to classify restaurants into groups and filter them by voucher. Each one here is a term of that taxonomy. Before going ahead, let's check which tools we'll use for this practice. I have the pro version of Cadence here to have some extra types of blocks to build the page. To create a custom post type and custom fields for restaurants, we need the Metabox Core plugin. You can install it directly from WordPress.org. Besides, we need some Metabox extensions for the advanced features. You can install them individually or use Metabox all in one. Here are the extensions we need. MB Custom Post Type, to create a custom post type and custom taxonomies for the restaurants. Meta Box Builder, to have a UI in the backend to create the custom fields visually. Make sure you've enabled them already. Now let's start. Go to Meta Box and create a new post type for your products. After publishing, there will be a new menu here. It's your post type. As I mentioned before, here are some fields I created to store some extra information about the restaurants. You can create more fields to store information for products as you want. Just go to Meta Box and create the fields. I'm creating some typical ones with no special setting. Choose the text field for the address. Next, choose single image for the logo. And lastly, choose the select field for the status. Remember that, you must add options in the choices box to show the restaurant's status. That's all the custom fields I need. Then, go to the Settings tab, choose Location, as Post Type, and select Restaurant to apply these fields to this post type. As mentioned, we'll have a filter on the page based on a taxonomy. So let's move to create it. Go to Metabox and create a new taxonomy. In the advanced section, check this box if you want to show the taxonomy in a hierarchy. And check this box to show it as an admin column. This setting is available only when you have the MB Admin Columns extension. I did not mention this one at the beginning because it's just optional. In the Post Types tab, choose the restaurant post type that you've just created to apply this taxonomy to it. Now, go to the voucher in the restaurant, and add some terms for the taxonomy. When creating a new post in the restaurant, you will see the custom fields here. 
just add some information for it. As well as, these are the terms of taxonomy. Just choose one. Here are some posts that I created for example. And here are the vouchers that I added for each restaurant. To display information about each restaurant, you need to create a query card. It allows us to define the template for individual posts. Go to Cadence Blocks, then All Query Cards, to create a new one. Choose one layout that you want. Then you will see some default blog posts displayed. We should change these posts to the post type that we use for the products for more accurate preview. Move to the right sidebar. Set the preview post type to your product post type. Pay attention that this affects the preview only. We haven't set any query to query the posts yet. Then, you will see that the feature image and title of the post are the same exactly with the ones you set for each product. It's because I chose a template for this query card at first, if you remember. You can check them once again. They all have been automatically set as dynamic and chose the corresponding fields. Next, I'll add some blocks to display restaurant information from custom fields created with Metabox. Add the text advanced block to display the restaurant's address. Enable dynamic content. And choose post custom field since this information is saved in a custom field. Then, choose the field name from the list. For the logo, add image advanced block and add dynamic data for it as well. Choose the post custom field and select the name of the field that saves the logo. For the status about the opening or closing time, also add another text advanced block. With this information, we don't use dynamic data as commonly, since the status has two values, and we should add conditions to choose which value will be displayed. In the advanced section of the dynamic content settings, I'm adding a div tag as fallback content like this. This means that this block will display the context as open. Then in the advanced settings of the block, enable the conditional display option. Set the conditional option as post custom field. Set the name of the status field here. And, add the comparison as equal to open. It means that this block with the text, open, will be displayed only when the field is set as open. We will have another text advanced block for the close status as well. Do exactly the same, but change the class and condition a little bit. The div now should be like this to set the context of this block as close. Now, the value should be close. So, when the field is set as close, this block will be displayed. Of course, then the block for the open status won't be displayed. So, I have finished setting the display layout and data of each product. Save this card and move to the next step. Go to all queries in Cadence Blocks menu and create a new query. 
There will be some pre-made layouts to choose from as well. We are going to have a simple listing page with filters. There are also some options. Just choose one. In the post type settings, set the post type of your products. This helps to query posts from this post type. Now, set the name of the query card that we've just created. This helps to inherit the style and data of displaying each post from this card. In the filter block, I set its source as taxonomy as default and choose the name of the taxonomy that I used for the restaurants. It's voucher. So we've done with this query. Now, it's time to create the page. Just add the query loop advanced block. Set the name of the query that we created in the previous step. Now, go to the page on front end. You will see the information of all the restaurants and also the filter displayed accurately. You can try clicking on some term on the filter bar. They work well. To style the page, you can go back to the page editor or the query to modify the layout. For the display of each product, you should go back to edit the query card. So now, the page got a better look. That's the end of today's tutorial. If you want to play around to know more about how to exploit Metabox, please watch our other tutorials on this channel. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to us for more tutorials. Bye.